Good afternoon. I would like to welcome all of you to the 2021 Howard L. Goff Middle School Award Ceremony. Thank you for coming. My name is Madeline Elliott and I am the Student Council President. I am here today with the Vice President, Maggie Dyer, Treasurer, Kaylin Stringer, and Secretary, Haley Koshkar. We are your Masters of the Ceremony today. Before we get started presenting the awards, I would like to invite our Principal, Ms. Barker, to the podium to share a few words. Good afternoon, and welcome to all of our students, parents, and the staff of the 20, uh, to the 2021 eighth grade awards ceremony. I'm so happy to be standing here today with all of you and in person, uh, and I stand here with great admiration and pride for all of our eighth grade students. The last 17 months have been extremely challenging for all of us, and especially for you eighth graders. But through these challenges, you've learned some valuable lessons, and you've found ways to be successful and continue to grow. Due to COVID-19, all of you have had many opportunities taken away from you as seventh and eighth graders. But through all of that, and in spite of that, you have all shown courage, resiliency, and you have achieved much success. For that, we are all very proud of you, and you should be very proud of yourself. Today, today, your teachers, your parents, and I are happy to be able to recognize and honor some outstanding achievements of our eighth graders and a few of our seventh graders. You have all been selected, who are sitting here in front of us today, by, by your teachers, staff, and administration to receive recognition of your accomplishments at Goff Middle School. But before I get started with the, with the ceremony, I want to thank Mrs. Lopez and our student council officers for organizing this event and for their service to Goff Middle School this year. They have done an outstanding job and like to give them a round of applause. When your name is called to receive your award, we would like you to please proceed to the podium where you'll be, um, you'll be recognized by your peers and your parents. And we have all of our other eighth graders who are streaming in right now to watch the ceremony as well as our seventh graders um, so that they can be part of this great event. Um, at this time, I would like to turn it over to um, our, our, our award ceremony. Bonjour, hola, alo. Our first awards this afternoon are the two-year World Language Achievement Awards. I am pleased to introduce the three of our World Language teachers, Ms. Phi, Ms. Kelly, and Ms. Lachisano. Bonjour, I'm Mrs. Lachisano. I'm the French teacher. And so the award that we're giving out now is for the highest average for two years in seventh and eighth grade um, in each language. And we are very proud of these kids, and they did great. And we want to encourage them to keep studying language in high school, and all of you also keep studying language in high school. It will serve you well. And the highest average for French goes to Maya Dorico. So Maya, come on down. The highest two-year average for German goes to Nea Gizzo. And the Spanish award goes to Nicholas Turner.
Our second awards today are the Thelma Kanonika Awards for Excellence in Writing. These awards will be presented by the Eng English Language Arts Department, Mrs. Barnes, Mrs. Calderon, Mrs. Garcia, and Mrs. Weiss. Hello, everyone. I'm Mrs. Barnes, and I'm here with the other eighth grade English teachers to present the Thelma Canonica Award for Excellence in Writing. In a year where everyone's face was covered with a mask, the English teachers relied more than ever on getting to know our students through their writing. As we worked on a variety of writing pieces throughout the year, it quickly became clear that these students possess something extra, passion. These exceptional writers are able to use their voice and create pieces that are eloquent, compelling, and always leave their readers wanting more. The recipients of this year's Canonica Award go to seven students who have emerged as some of the top writers in the eighth grade class. From my classes, Molly Mara, Nicholas Turner, and Mia Williams. And from my classes, John Buchan and Magnolia Allen. And from my class, Madeline Dobbin. And from my class, Zoe Allen. Next, presenting the Mathematics Award for Excellence, the teachers of the math department, Ms. Blake, Ms. Blonde, and Ms. Hadley. But before they present their awards, we would like to thank Ms. Hadley for being an amazing teacher. We wish you many years of happiness and a wonderful retirement. Hello, thank you, everyone. Is that Maddie? I don't know her name. I am retiring this year. Yay! It's been a pleasure. Your kids are wonderful. For 22 years, I've enjoyed teaching here at Goff Middle School. Teachers are my family. And so this is my last award ceremony. But um, so my name is Wendy Hadley. I teach Math 8 and Algebra. And behind me are Sue Blonde, who teaches Math 8 and Algebra as well, and Chrissy Blake, who teaches Math 8 and the MAP 8th graders as well. So we wanted to give some awards this year to students who did an excellent job with these crazy circumstances and coming to school two days a week and being home on the other days. So we are each giving three different, three awards to three students. So uh, Kara Barcher gets the first one. So Kara, come on up. Thank you. I forgot to read the saying. We have this award recognizes your exceptional work ethic, dedication to learning, and high average in math. Okay. The next award winner for me is Olivia Landy.
And the final award for me is my algebra, in my Algebra 1 class is a remote student who was the definition of what a remote student should be, uh, Shreya Pulela. Hello, my name is Mrs. Blonde, and my first award goes to an algebra student, Shreya Jalela. My, my second award goes to Gabriela Pintado. And my third award goes to Mia Williams. Hi, I'm Mrs. Blake, and I would just like to, one more time, read this because I want you to recognize that these children worked exceptionally hard in math, in work ethic, dedication to learning, and high average in math. So congrats to Lena Bromberg. <laughs> Kaylin Jacob. and Zachariah Mung. Thank you. Next up on our program this afternoon, the Social Studies Award for Excellence. These awards will be presented by Mrs. LaCorwitz, Mr. Barnes, and Mr. Barnes for the Social Studies Department. Teddy Roosevelt once said, never throughout history has a man who lived a life of ease left a name worth remembering. We present the Social Studies Award for Excellence to students who have demonstrated a strong interest in history and civics, possess an inquisitive nature, and hold an appreciation for studying the past. Through their hard work, they have become names worth remembering in golf history. We would like to present the Social Studies Award of Excellence to three people. Braden Gibson, Tobias Furnett, <laughs> and Nicholas Turner. Congratulations. Next, make sure you listen closely to the accomplishments of these students. Please welcome our Science Olympiad advisor, Ms. Vlieg, to the podium. Ms. Vlieg will be presenting awards to our very successful and award-winning Science Olympiad team. Good afternoon, everyone. As many of you know, the 2020 and 2021 school years were very difficult ones for the Science Olympiad team. Just like all the other extracurriculars, our season ended abruptly last year when we were on our way to states with the possibility of earning a state championship. Our students were so disappointed by this. 
we were very thankful that this year we were able to have a season, albeit entirely virtual. The virtual competitions provided us with new challenges and a completely different experience than we ever had before. This year's team rose to those challenges and found great success. I would like to thank Mrs. Barker for advocating for us to have some in-person practice time and uh, team time with the team members because it definitely made a difference in our season. I would also like to introduce and thank my assistant coaches. <laughs> Mr. Hudson, Ms. Graham, and Mr. Cerenzioni. I don't know if he's here. I think he's with the sixth graders. Um, the golf team found success at our virtual regional competition. We ended up placing, once again, first in all the capital region. Our success at regionals qualified us to compete in the New York State competition that was held virtually in April of this year. Normally, at our state competition, we compete against 40 teams. But since it was virtual, they decided to increase our competition level, and uh, we ended up competing against 55 teams from all across New York State. Goff was able to place in the top 10 in the state placing ninth overall, receiving this lovely plaque, um, out of all 55 teams. The students, unfortunately, were not able to receive their medals because we did not have an actual state awards assembly. So um, we are going to be providing the students with their medals today. In addition, we were competed in some virtual um, invitational competitions and one of the virtual competitions was right at the end of the season and we literally just received their certificates for those students so we will present them with their certificates for that as well as the New York State Legislature wanted to recognize our first place team from our regional competition so the students will also be receiving their certificate for that all at one time all right so now we'll announce our uh, eighth grade members of the Goff Science Olympiad team our first person is Ariana Baptista. Ariana will be receiving a medal for her placement in the fossils competition. Next one is Shreya Galella. Shreya will be receiving a medal for her placement in meteorology. Shreya was in the top three out of 55 teams in all of New York State. Thomas Marcioni. Thomas is receiving a special certificate from the Bird Invitational for his placement in Road Scholar as well. Shreya Palella. Shreya is receiving a medal for her placement in the Ornithology event. Alyssa Sense. Alyssa will be receiving a medal for her placement in the food science event. Umiza Shaw. Jasper Travis. Jasper is receiving a medal for his placement in the Circuit Lab event. A very difficult event, by the way. And Sophia Chow. Congratulations to the Goff Science Olympia team for a great, successful virtual season.
Now time for the Arts Awards. First, the music department will honor the, those students who are gifted in the musical arts. We are pleased to introduce Ms. Decker, Ms. Lavoy, and Mr. Lawrence. Hello, I'm Ms. Decker and I'm here to present the National School Choral Award. The National School Choral Award is given to two singers who through their dedication, ability, and achievement have made significant contributions to the Goff Choral Program and have demonstrated outstanding degrees of loyalty, cooperation, and high qualities of conduct. The students being honored today have represented the Goff community excellently in activities such as the All County and Suburban Council Music Festivals, the Nisma Solo Festival, and Goff's Select Chorus last year. In those events and in the regular day-to-day, -day, these students have led their peers consistently and admirably, and both have had a significant impact on the culture of the choral classroom. While this award could be given to a number of students, these two students consistently have gone above and beyond since they were in sixth grade and have made a lasting impact on the Goth Choral Program. Today, I am pleased to honor both Cole Hardy and Lucia Solomon. The Director's Award for Orchestra is awarded each year to the student who shows the best and most consistent combination of excellence in musicianship, cooperation, participation, and initiative in the orchestra program, along with overall growth, development, and responsibility. This year's recipient has demonstrated a very high level of musical achievement over her years in the East Greenbush Orchestra program. The student has taken private lessons during all three years here at Goff, participated in the Nisma Solo Festival, and above all, has shown a love for music at a level that I don't often see in a middle school student. If there was ever a solo to play or anything extra musically, we could always count on this student to eagerly take up the task. Over the past three years, the student has been extremely consistent in being prepared for lessons, responsible in rehearsals, and has been a real solid leader in her section, and has added to the quality and enjoyment of the program for many. I am very pleased to present the 2021 Director's Award for Orchestra to Zoe Allen. Good afternoon, I'm Miss Lavoy. I'm going to begin today with the Golf Drama Club Award. This award is given to a student who is extremely dedicated to the success of the yearly musical and who has demonstrated some pretty great acting, singing, and dancing skills along the way. This year's recipient um, played lead roles in Golf's productions of Susical and Fiddler on the Roof. In addition, she helped a lot, out a lot behind the scenes with sets and various other um, responsibilities. In addition, she also participated in this year's virtual drama club projects. Though not the same, uh, there was a lot of creativity displayed. This year's Golf Drama Club Award goes to Peyton Hines. Okay, now I'm going to step in Mr. Bresnahan's shoes, not literally, because they'd be way too big. Um, Mr. Bres Bresnahan apologizes for not being able to be here today, and I'm, gonna, I'm not going to go off script. I'm going to read exactly what he provided for me. He is at his daughter's kindergarten graduation. He would like to congratulate the winners of the awards today and wish all students the best of luck at the high school. The Director's Award for Band has been given out every, every year since 1974 and is one of the oldest awards in the history of Goff Middle School. It is given to a student that has shown hard work, dedication, and leadership in their time with the band program. This year's recipient is Maya Preston.
Next, uh, the Louis Armstrong Award for Jazz is given out to a student to recognize outstanding achievements in the field of jazz as demonstrated through superior musicianship, character, and individual creativity. This year's recipient is Ronan Kreshek. Thank you. Oops. Additionally, presenting the Goff School Arts Award, our art department, Ms. Hozier and Ms. Tanayev. Good afternoon, everyone. Choosing winners for this year's Art Awards was truly a difficult decision. Ms. Deneaf and I deliberated uh, what, for what felt like hours <laughs> over who should win this. So many of you not only showed up in the face of a pandemic to make art, but you excelled within the various aspects of the learning models that we have faced in September. We have been so familiar with the hands-on qualities of making art, and we all really had to think about how to modify and be flexible. Our award winners have done just that and so much more. The art department has selected four outstanding students, two of which were hybrid model learners and two of which were fully remote learners. Each of these incredibly talented and dedicated young people have exhibited artistic excellence, a critical eye, self-reflection, and enthusiasm for the subject. It is our hope we'll see each of them move on to Columbia High School and continue to do great things in the visual arts. The four of you have made us proud. On behalf of Ms. Deneaf and I, it's my honor to present the awards for artistic excellence to the following eighth grade students. For our fully remote learners, Layla McNeil and Malachi Gibson. And for our hybrid model learners, Cheyenne Bootman and Jack Murphy. Congratulations to each of you, and thank you. In the next section of our program, we have some all-around awards to pronounce. Please welcome one of our assistant principals, Ms. Hoffman, who will be presenting the Perfect Attendance Award for three years. Hello, thanks to everybody for coming. The following student has been and continues to be a conscientious, reliable, and prompt member of our community. One of the ways she has demonstrated these traits is by maintaining perfect attendance. With the actions of showing up to school every day, this student has been able to achieve academic and extracurricular excellence. Congratulations goes to Sharia Jalela. Next up is the No Grade Below 90% for two years award, which will be presented by our assistant principals, Ms. Hoffman and Mr. Newman. We have many winners for this award. Ms. Hoffman and Mr. Newman will split the list. We ask that you please hold your applause for the end where we can hear all cheer really loud for all of them. The following students received no grade lower than a 90 in all of their classes for the entirety of 7th and 8th grade. This is no small feat. The following are model students and deserve our recognition and appreciation. Congratulations goes out to Haley Arsenal. E. Ung. Ariana Baptista. Adriana Bauer. Caitlin Baguski, Lena Bromberg, 
Jack Kale. Maya Derrico. Ava Donahue. Madeline Elliott. Molly Freeman. Sharia Jalela. Naya Gizzo. Peyton Hines. Kaylin Jacob. Ellie Keenholtz. Eden Ladd. Olivia Landy. Shreya Malgay. Kate Manning. So that's just the first part of the list. Mr. Mr. Newman's coming up for the rest, but let's give these kids a round of applause, please. Want to have them sit? All right, you guys can sit down. Sorry, we're running out of room. We'll have them go back and we'll, we'll start again. All right, like I said, these two students here continue to have no grade less than 90 the last two years. Emily Marks. Elizabeth McMahon. Kira Mead. Kira Miller. Ashutosh Nagathi. Andrew Orcutt. Taylor Prescott. Maya Preston. Maya. Evan Rainville. Anna Riley. Evelise Rosebosom. Molly Sapienza. Isabella Siebert. Alyssa Sens. Umaiza Shah. Peyton Stravu, Kaylin Stringer, There's a couple more spaces over here, guys, too, right? Nick Turner, and Sophia, Sophia Zhao. Hey, Nick, why don't you cover on this side, buddy? Can we get a round of applause for all of our students who grade no grade less than 90? Great job, guys. Great job. And now, the first of two athletic awards, the Physical Education Award, presented by two of our physical education teachers, Mr. Rose and Mrs. Russell. Hi, good afternoon. I'm Mrs. Russell, and this is Mr. Rose. We are going to be presenting the Physical Education Award. This award is presented presented to an outstanding eighth grade boy and eighth grade girl who have excelled in physical education. They have exemplified many skills, which include leadership, demonstrating a healthy active lifestyle, a willingness to assist others, cooperation, enthusiasm, self-expression, and social interaction with their peers and teachers. These individuals are true models for all students in physical education. 
It is my honor to present this year's Physical Education Award to Anna Nasavera and Giovanni LaPietra. Thank you. Next up, the Gary Woods Award will be presented by two of our eighth grade teachers, Ms. Barnes and Ms. Calderon. Each year, the Gary Woods Award is presented in memory and honor of Gary Woods, a former Goff Middle School teacher. The Gary Woods Award is given to eighth grade students who showed acts of kindness, caring, and consideration for others. Whether it was through a thoughtful gesture, a word of encouragement, or leading by example, these students helped to make Goff Middle School a brighter place. We are pleased to congratulate our winners. From Team 8-1, Fanuk Chandras Ekara. Taylor Linscott. Kira Miller. And Alyssa Sens. And from Team 8-2, Nea Gizzo. Jack Dusenberry. Lucia Solomon. And Dylan Cartwright. Congratulations, everybody. Oh, At this time, we invite our principal, Ms. Barker, who will be presenting an award made for this year, the Honorary Remote Student Award. The Honorary Remote Student Award was developed specifically for this unique year of learning. This award is being presented to one of our eighth grade students who learn remotely for the entire school year. Over the year, the student demonstrated tenacity and dedication to fully remote learning. While participa participating in school from home, the student faced many challenges, but was intrinsically motivated, self-directed, and incredibly well organized. This award recognizes their success in meeting the challenges this year provided. And congratulations goes to Jack Kale. Please join me in congratulating Jack. Hello, everybody. My name is Mrs. Lopez. I'm the student council advisor and a sixth grade teacher. Before we continue with our awards, I want to take a moment to recognize and honor some of our eighth grade students. At this time, we would like to thank the artists who designed the eighth grade board. Zoe Allen, please join us for the dedication of the board. It's over there.
un instant. Zoe, thank you for all of the hours you spent creating your piece of art. Goff Middle School is lucky to have your artwork hanging on our walls. For years to come, the Goff family will love what you created for us. Thank you. We understand that there's a lot of the eighth grade students who didn't get to sign it yet. We'll have it today if you weren't able to sign it, you can come up at the end and put your name on it. We're also gonna bring it tomorrow night to the moving up ceremony at the field. So look for me tomorrow, more, tomorrow afternoon when you walk in, I'll be there with the board and markers so that way you can sign your names to it as well. Next, I would like to recognize and thank and acknowledge the student council officers. President Maddie Elliott, Vice President Maggie Dyer, Treasurer Kaylin Stringer, and Secretary Haley Kostikar. This year, these four students had to recreate what the student council was and how we did it. Together, they decided to focus the year on our community here at Goff and to help focus our immediate help focus on our immediate community, including what families needed during the pandemic. I'm beyond thankful for all of their help, support, and hours that they put into their positions. I will miss them all next year, but I know that they'll be great class officers for the class of 2025. At this time, I would like to honor and thank them. My officers would not have been so successful without their parents. I'm not positive where they're seated here today. However, these parents made more trips here to Goff at 6.30 in the morning, at 6.45, or at 7 o'clock in the morning than any other parent of a Goff student. For three years, they gave us an incredible amount of attention. So right now, I would like the four officers to go and thank their parents for everything they did to support us. All right now, I have a little information on the next seven awards. We would like everyone to know the significance and special part of these awards. The recipients of these awards will be remembered for years to come here at Howard L. Goff Middle School. All of the remaining awards will have plaques that hang outside the main office. The winners' names will be engraved on the nameplates and hung for everyone to see. Now, with great pleasure, I present to you Mr. Crawl, who will be awarding the winners of the Education Foundation Award, which honors our seventh grade students. Mr. Crawl. Good afternoon. My name is Mr. Crawl, and with me is my fellow English teacher, Ms. Mathis. We are here to present the Education Foundation Award which is in recognition of our seventh grade students who through their initiative and unselfishness have made the Goff School community a better place. There are not enough adjectives in the English language that could adequately describe this year's recipients of the Education Foundation Award. Words and phrases like hardworking, positive attitude, leadership, perseverance, and determination don't seem to properly describe what these students have achieved this year. Consider the environment that they attained distinction in. In class, they were six feet apart from their teachers and their friends, isolated and masked, unable to do many of the normal things which allow students to succeed. It would be very easy in this situation to just give up, go with the flow, and get through the year without trying your very best. And yet, 
These students broke through obstacles, attained academic honors, and displayed leadership while always maintaining a positive attitude. They showed what the author Ernest Hemingway once called the true sign of courage in the face of adversity. They showed grace under pressure. It is my pleasure to recognize and commend this year's recipients of the Education Foundation Award, Molly Simmons, Guy Nicholas Jr., Mint Ong, and Madison Rizzo. Congratulations. Next, the Transportation Department Award will be presented by Ms. Hoffman. The Transportation Department Award is given out in memory of Bill Lindemann, Ed Merhaj, Ray Working, and Speedy Lewis, four members of our transportation team. This award is presented to the eighth graders who have demonstrated commendable behavior. From Team 8-1, Kira Mead, Taylor Prescott, Aurora Millam. From Team A2, Ellie Keenholtz, Claire Insull, and Hugh Senecal. Now, one of our assistant principals, Mr. Newman, will be presenting the William J. Sibulus Award. The William, thank you. The William Sibulus Award is presented annually in memory of Ford, former Howard L. Goff school student. This award is presented to two eighth grade students who have shown the most improvement in character, scholarship, service, citizenship, and leadership here at Goff Middle School. It is with great honor that we present the award to, first, Winter Sagendorf. Come on up, Winter. And Bradley Sweet. Now, the second athletic award, the Thurston Thompson Award. We welcome to the podium two of our PE teachers, Mrs. Shattuck and Mr. Marion. Good afternoon. The Thurston Thompson Award is given in memory of Thurston Thompson. Mr. Thompson was a teacher and coach in the East Greenberg Central School District. Throughout his career, he emphasized the importance of good sportsmanship in striving to be the best athlete possible. The Thurston Thompson Award is given to an eighth grade girl and eighth grade boy who have demonstrated their athletic potential, shown good sportsmanship, maintained a satisfactory scholastic average, been a good citizen in and out of school, shown good character, and gets along well with others. 
We view this as a scholar athlete award and thus leadership in athletics and in the classroom are both important. The female winner is Kennedy Ring. And the male winner is Evan Rainville. Congratulations. Next on our program, Mr. Newman will present the Stephen Taylor Award. All right. Uh, with lifelong dedication, boundless energy, and the utmost integrity, Mr. Steve Taylor serves as a teacher and assistant principal at Howard L. Goff Middle School for 30 years. From the smallest project to the largest undertaking, his service to the school and community reflects his commitment and to the education of the students of the East Greenbridge Central School District. This award will recognize two eighth graders who have demonstrated honesty, a strong work, at work, work ethic, and a commitment to Goff Middle School through participation in school and community service activities. Oh, somebody put a sticker right on this. All right. Please join me in congratulating Maddie Elliott. Come on, Maddie. <laughs> and Kaylin Stringer. Great job, guys. As we near the end of the elevation ceremony this afternoon, our principals, Ms. Barker, will be pre presenting the Edmund Dewberry Awards and the Howard L. Goff Awards. Ms. Barker, please join us one last time at the podium. First, I'll start with the Edmund Dupree Award. Mr. Edmund Dupree served our school community for many years as assistant superintendent. He was a dedicated professional and respected all people and encouraged scholarship and community involvement. In honor of his unselfish commitment to the East Greenbush schools, this award is presented to two eighth graders who demonstrate outstanding character, service, citizenship, and leadership qualities. Please give a round of applause and, courage, and courage, congratulations to Maya Dorico and Umaiza Shaw. And now our final award this afternoon, the Howard L. Goff Award. Mr. Goff was a distinguished educational leader who served as principal and superintendent of schools in the East Greenbush School District. Our very school building was named in recognition of his service to the community. This capstone award is given to two eighth graders whose ethical and moral character, scholarship and citizenship epitomizes the man from whom this award is named after. This year's Howard L. Goff Award goes to two students. I'd like to congratulate Sharia Jalala and Evan Rainville. First, congratulations to all the students for the awards you won this afternoon. We are so excited we get to go to Columbia with each and every one of you. 
Second, we would like to thank our family members who came to cheer us on and all supported us for the past three years. Thirdly, to our teachers, staff, maintenance workers, bus drivers, coaches, and all in the golf community. We thank you for devoting yourselves to your work, most especially this year. Thank you for helping make this year happen for all of us. Finally, before we go, we would like to take a moment to recognize our principals. This year was like no other, and their leadership carried us through. Mrs. Barker, Mr. Newman, and Ms. Hoffman, thank you for your ongoing dedication, support, and for the endless hours of work which you devoted to this school year. No matter how hard it was, how exhausted you became, or how matter or what challenges you face each day, you kept coming back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And this ends our award ceremony. We thank you all for coming and congratulations once again.